this is your August monthly horoscope for Aries. And so starting off on August 11th, there are a few things happening. We have Jupiter coming direct, which is good news. This kind of lifts some of the weight, brings some positive energy in. Also, Mercury does move into Leo. So this will be after Mercury comes direct. Mercury does come direct on July 31st. So this will be several days after Mercury comes direct. So Mercury will be fully out of post shadow and moving into Leo where we've had a hint of this energy early on where communication was much bolder. We were feeling more confident, more expressive. A lot of people speaking their truth more, coming from a more authentic place. So this is great energy. Now, also on the same day, Uranus does retrograde. And when Uranus retrogrades, this sets up this period of things not going as you plan them to or answers not being answered that you're looking for, that you're seeking for. With Uranus retrograde, this, this sort of slows down the breakthroughs and the answers to things. And so, therefore, we are in a position where... We must go in within for answers. It'll be a time where it will be much viable to go within and to seek out your inner guidance versus seeking something outside of yourself. And as we move on to August 15th, there will be a full moon in Aquarius. And this full moon will really help you to be your true authentic self. It opens up a doorway for you to truly be unique and to live in your best and most authentic way. And so with this interaction between Leo, the sun being in Leo, and a full moon, the moon being in Aquarius, also added to with Mercury in Leo and Mars in Leo, this will definitely give people a strong sense of confidence and a desire to express your true authenticity. So this is a very powerful full moon. I think that in a lot of ways, this makes things a lot easier for people. This is not heavy like this 
lunar eclipse and full moon that we are going through in Capricorn. And this is much lighter. And so with the partial lunar eclipse and full moon in Capricorn, it's really about releasing the old weight that you've been carrying around. And so therefore, once the moon moves into Aquarius, things become a lot lighter and easier. We're dealing with air energy as the moon moves into Aquarius. Another thing to remember, though, with the moon in Aquarius is to always come from a place that is truly authentic, loving, and expressive. With the moon in Aquarius, it is a bit cold. There is this disconnect from emotions. And so this opposition with the Sun, Mercury, and Mars, and Leo will definitely encourage you to be more expressive, which is the way to go with this moon in Aquarius. Now on the 18th of August, this is where we see Mars move into Virgo. And this is where we start to see this fiery passion start to die down a little bit. This is where things become more grounded, more practical. And this is great energy for getting something done and for following set schedules and plans especially after coming off of this mercury and retrograde if you had any plans or ideas or anything that you want to work on when mars enters virgo that will be a great time to work on those goals mars and virgo gives you a great ability to power through work and expectations. Now on the next day, August 19th, Jupiter does make aspects to Saturn and this is a reminder. We've had aspects between Jupiter and Saturn in the past and so this is just a reminder of making sure that our dreams and our expectations are realistic. So that theme has been throughout this year. This is just a little reminder of this, especially as things are becoming much lighter and easier coming off of this eclipse season that we were in on August 21st Venus enters Virgo and this is a tough place for Venus to be in Virgo we are faced with reality we are faced with being practical and getting work done serving others and as Venus wants to dream and to express love and our feelings and our desires and to be comfortable and safe, this sets up this not so great energy where a lot of us will need to try to be more open with our feelings and with expression. If you are working and have no time to express yourself or to have fun in your life in some way, this Venus in Virgo is a great transit to take that opportunity. Also notice how this affects you and your relationships with Venus and its fallen position. Venus is not operating so well in Virgo. And so 
pay attention to the details. Pay, pay attention to how you behave and how you react in your relationships. Also pay close attention to your partners. Are you giving what is necessary for this relationship? Are you putting the time and the effort into this that is truly necessary? And on August 23rd is when the sun finally moves into Virgo. And this is transitioning us from summer to fall. So all throughout this Virgo season that is coming up, you will see the excitement, the fun, the pleasure, the passion that the season of summer bring to the table start to die down. This is when things start to calm down. This is when we start to see ourselves beginning to transition beginning to transform in our lives, beginning to plan out what we want our lives to look like come next spring because out throughout the winter months is when we go through our reflection, when we go through our personal death and regeneration. And so, as the sun enters Virgo, things do become more grounded, more practical. Things start to slow down a bit. We start to have more work and responsibilities to do. We have areas of our lives that we need to transform and work through. And on the 30th of August, we see a new moon in Virgo. So the moon and the sun will be in Virgo. And with this, our actions and our feelings will be aligned. And so with this new moon, it brings in this gateway, this new opportunity to work and improve on yourself. And this is a great opportunity to take on as we are starting to get closer and closer to the end of the month where we will see more and more Capricorn energy, where we will have to take down these old traditions, these old belief systems, these old ways of doing things that no longer serve us. So we will see another lunar eclipse in Capricorn. We will see a solar eclipse in Capricorn. And so this this relationship between the Cancer North Node and the Capricorn South Node will play out as we get closer and closer to the end of the year as it is playing out currently. So this gives you an opportunity to continue to work on what needs to be addressed in your life. And so not really much happening in August. As I said before, this is a much lighter, easier month than July was. Towards the end of August, especially, you start to see things starting to calm down a bit, become more grounded. So the energies change A bit as we get to the end of August. So that was looking at the transits. Now let me go to the cards and see what comes up for you. I am using the Connolly Tarot deck. 
the Barbary Zodiac Oracle deck. The Rider Tarot deck and also playing cards. So I will be using these four decks to show you the messages that come through for the month of August for the sign Aries. So let me show you. So I already have the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck laid out for you. I'm now going to pick from the Rider to Row deck. And we're getting a lot of cards in reverse, so let me pull, see if I can get a card that is right side up for some clarity. So that's for the Rider Tarot deck. I will now shuffle from the Connolly Tarot deck.
Alright. And again, I'm seeing a lot of cards in reverse, so I'm going to see if we can get a right side up card to get some clarification on that. So that was the Connolly Tarot deck. I will now shuffle from the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck. Alright, and let me see if I can get a right side up card for some confirmation. Lastly, I will be shuffling from the playing cards. Let me see if I can get this in the frame for you. All right, so So first of all, starting off August 2019 for you, I do see you guys closing the door on some old feelings, some old beliefs, some of you are ending relationships. This is signifying an ending of an attachment for you.
And for some of you, you may be dealing with an earth sign. You may be dealing with ending an attachment in relationship with an earth sign. For others of you, I do feel like you are moving into a more divine space in your life a more emotional and loving space in your life. It definitely feels like there is a detachment to old things or old places or even old relationships. There's this physical detachment that is occurring. And this ending is so that you can start something fresh so that you can invest your own feelings, your own time, your own energy into something new. And so again, for a lot of you, I feel like you are moving into more of a divine, more authentic space in your life. You are truly coming from a place in your heart. And this involves communicating. And this could be dealing with an air sign. But simply, a lot of you need to communicate what your feelings are to open the door for this new space in your life. You are removing something old so that you can begin something new and fresh in your life through communicating your feelings, expressing yourself. And this is very Piscean with this Neptune and Jupiter, which are two prominent planets right now. We see both of these in their home signs continually making squares with one another. And so there is this idea of high hopes and high dreams. And so for those of you who are beginning something new. This has to do with what you truly desire. What is your dream? What is your vision? Now be careful though, because with Neptune and Jupiter, there can be illusion. There can be this sense of reaching for something that is out of your grasp. Some of you are dreaming too high and not acting on the things that you can act on right now. And so that is a warning of caution. Also though, be, be assertive with your creative ideas. Put them into action. This is opening the door for you to create something new and fresh. And we see that with the playing cards and we see this theme continuing now. And then we see Venus and Saturn in reverse. And we do see 
this Saturn in retrograde as breaking these old habits, these old traditions, these old belief systems that no longer serve us. Also with it being in conjunct with the South Node, we see that. So we've seen this pattern all year. This is signifying definitely that it is time for you to break these old cycles in your life. This is showing order through chaos. There is a risk that you must take. And so for a lot of you, if you are staying in your comfort zone, if you are staying safe, you are not accomplishing this dream that Neptune and Jupiter has for you. It is time to act on that by breaking these old cycles, these old Saturn ways. I also see that for a lot of you, you are not putting enough feeling behind your actions. And I mentioned this in a previous YouTube video on the lunar eclipse. Not just you, Aries, but in general, people are not putting enough feelings into their actions. We are like zombies. We are doing things that we don't love, things that don't serve our highest, greatest good. And for a lot of us, we don't actually know what we are feeling or who we are in our bodies. We live in our head space. And so this is asking you to tap into that state of feeling. What are you truly feeling? Do you feel passionate? Do you love what you do? If not, then there's time to make a change. There's time to break these old Saturn ways of just doing what you're told, doing what society told you, doing what others expect of you. What do you expect of yourself? What drives you? What makes you truly happy? And so you need to tap into that. And again, I see this thing with communication repeated once again. So you could be dealing with a Gemini for some of you. But I do feel like this is, for a lot of you, about communicating your true feelings, your true desires, so that you can break these old Saturn cycles and do what benefits your highest, greatest self. And we see this new beginning once again. And we see it involving this message that is being given to you. So a lot of you, your inner guidance is telling you that it's time to start fresh. Your inner guidance is telling you that it is time to move in a new direction and leave the past behind, break these Saturn cycles.
And we see that you need to bring balance in your life. You need to bring balance in your life by doing what you are passionate about, navigating yourself in the direction of what you love, what is in tune with your highest, greatest version, your true, authentic self. And once again, there is this doorway open to you, but you have to choose to go through it. You have to go through this transformation, this change, this ending. There is growth and work for you to do, but know that this door is open to you. And this is wands. Again, this is fire. This is dealing with what you are passionate and driven to do. What is in your heart space? Leo energy, the heart, what is in your heart space? So keep that in mind. And once again, this old way of nurturing yourself. This old stability, this old place, dealing with these old belief systems, these old structures put in place, must be removed. Look, this is a gateway. And so is this. So you're removing one way of doing thing, doing things and opening the door for another way of doing things. Closing one chapter of your life, opening the next. And this is the nine of wands, nine, dealing with transformation, change. You're at the end of a cycle. You just need to take the steps to get to this next doorway. And there's no judgment. There is nothing standing in your way from completing this but you. There's no punishment. There's, there's no negative outcome coming from you taking this risk, taking this deep dive into what you love, into what is truly in tune with your highest, greatest good. Once again, the hermit, earth. Virgo, old patterns, old behaviors, old belief systems, old ways of doing things. This must be removed from your life so that you can get to this, so that you can get to the success, the happy ending. This is your growth, your expansion. And for a lot of you, this is in finance. So keep that in mind. And we have the Four of Cups in reverse. And 
And so with this, this can't be ignored. The signs are all around you. You don't feel good in this position that you're in. You know that there is time. It's time for you to make a change. It's time for you to remove these old patterns and behaviors that have been put into place. And yes, it's going to put you in a tower moment. It's going to put you in a place of radical change and radical action. It's going to put you in a place of chaos and things falling apart. But that is part of the process that you must go through. You have a transformation to go through in this month of August. And I feel like It may not go the way that you want it to. Your plans may not unfold exactly the way that you want or desire them to be. And that's okay. Just keep continuing on this path of growth and change. And once again, we see it with the Page of Cups. We see this lack of emotion, this lack of feeling. And that's not on a personal level, that is as far as what you are doing in your life. There is not enough feeling behind it. There is not enough drive, enough passion, enough commitment. And so you have to go within and find what do you truly feel? What feeling can you put behind this? And the Six of Wands in reverse. We see that you and your life are going to be going down this road of things, again, not going the way that you planned them to. There's this disharmony or this dis-ease. You're not celebrating right now. You are doing work. You are growing. You are going through transformation. And that is fine. Remember that with this lunar eclipse previously that you went through, that was a new portal that was calling you a new direction. And so you are going to go down this path of growth and work and change in your life. And this is for most of you. You don't get the victory yet. You don't get the celebration yet.
And it's not a time to get lost in the details. It's not a time to get lost in analyzing the situation. Yes, things are going to be out of sorts. Yes, things are not going to go the way that you plan. So it's not a time to get lost in trying to analyze the situation. You must to reach your highest, greatest potential, you must trust in the universe. You must go with the flow and do what is being asked of you. Do the work. That is how you see this change unfold. So a lot of you who overanalyze things or try to look into the details that is not going to get you any closer to your goal. Just know that going into this month of August, and again. I see this lack of connection, this lack of emotion, this lack of feeling behind this. So keep that in mind, especially as you come to the end of August, where we see all of this Virgo energy that is analytical, that is practical, that is grounded. You may want to look to Leo, to Pisces, for that feeling, that drive. And another thing that I want to mention is that, yes, you do see the pain, the heartache, the stress come to an end. And it comes to an end as you get closer and closer to the end of the month. Because we see this We see this ending right justice. This is where things unfold the way that you would like them to. And just for you, for those of you who have joined me on Patreon, who are supporting me through being a patron, I have pulled some extra cards just for you, and it does end in a reversal, so I will pull some confirmation.
from each of the decks. I will pull confirmation. So these are extra cards for the month of September. So just to give you a sneak peek of what September has for you. And then we will revisit that to look at it fully in the next monthly horoscope. So starting off, for the month of September, I do see some growth, some expansion. So this is in correspondence to the work that you have done throughout the month of August. This is where I do see your achievements starting to unfold. And there is sort of this death of these fantasies, these dreams, as it does show the reality start to unfold. So this is where things become practical, become realistic. This is where this work that you've done in August starts to show some results. And it is showing this lack of this shifty movement, this groundedness, this growth, this expansion, this sense of direction. A focus comes into the picture. And we see that here with the nine of diamonds. That this is practical transformation that's taking place. You are finally seeing the, re the real results start to play out. So this is opening up this doorway to completion. And this confirms that this completion is coming, that it is on its way. This ending is approaching of this hard work and this journey that you have been on. And it does signify a new beginning, 
where you are doing something, this is wands, where you are doing something that you are passionate about. Something that you love, something that you desire, something that you are driven to accomplish. And this ends in a deal or an arrangement. Now this arrangement or this contract can be physical. However, this is cups. So for a lot of you, this is dealing in you expressing your feelings, being more true to what you are actually feeling. For others of you, this is a contract that you are making with your guides to work on being your greatest good, being your most true authentic self, living your greatest life. So thank you so much for joining me here today and supporting me as a patron. Keep in mind that this is a monthly payment. This is the month of August. If you want to have your horoscope for the month of September, Make sure to continue in this monthly plan. Otherwise, have a great day. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to you. This was your channeled message for the month of August using the transits and using the four different decks. And I hope to see you next time. All right. Have a great day.